What's up guys, this is Steve Randall at night and welcome to another Wallpaper Wednesday. This is going to be in honour of one of my favourite sort of childhood games which is Pokemon. The first game I sort of ever really played was Pokemon Blue on the Game Boy Colour and I got then sort of thoroughly addicted to that and I've played through most of the new ones. There is of course Pokemon Go which is coming out sometime in the future for phones which is going to be really cool. But for now, here are some Pokemon wallpapers for your phone. So the first app we're going to look at is called Poke Fusion, and this has loads of these fan-made um, fusion artwork. So it's different Pokemon all sort of fused together. Um, I'll try and find this. I think it's one of my favourites. So I think it's a fusion of most of the first generation, or gen no, I think it's like generation one to six um, bird Pokemon. Uh, if you go down to the bottom here, you've got a couple of options. You can obviously set the wallpaper, um, and I'll show you in a sec how you can crop it and stuff like that. There's a little information Pokeball here. If you tap that, so yeah, Fusion of All Fire Birdies, uh, Generation 1 to 6, it will give you the detail of the artist, um, where you can link directly to it, um, and which Pokemon have been fused um, to make the wallpaper. There's also one option here, so you can just save it to your phone, and you can also favorite it as well, um, which then gives you quick access in the sidebar to your, uh, to your favorite wallpapers. But we'll go back um, and we'll pick out uh, score for this one. So I'll say absolutely Lucario and a Zorak, I think. So you can go ahead and just drag this um, to adjust it. You can also turn um, a locked aspect ratio on and off, which will just mean that it will keep the, um, the image from stretching. You can then also crop and rotate here as well. If you scroll down to the bottom, there is an option to have guidelines. So I'm just going to turn them on. Um, so, you know, you like take a photo, it lets you line everything up and make sure it's all straight. So we're going to go ahead and set this wallpaper and the little red button is a little bit clunky. Then you get a pop-up ad, but you can literally just back out of that and it's all fine. And there you can see it on my home screen. The quality is actually really, really nice, um, both on my Nexus 6P and this, which is my Nexus 5. It looks really, really good. If we go back into the app for a second, you can see there is also a second set of wallpapers. Now these are ones of sort of Mega Evolution Pokemon. I think a couple of fusions as well, but these all have a nice background behind them. They're not just on the black. So let's go for uh, what's this sort of Umbreon kind of thing. So yeah, this is a fan made Mega Umbreon and this is by a guy called Fatmon. So I'm going to drag it out, just center it up and hit set. And again, that will set it for you. So there you've got a nice one with a colourful background. It obviously has wallpaper scrolling, but that will also depend on which launcher you're using. The next app we have is just called Pokemon Wallpaper, and this is kind of similar. It's just a nice big gallery of, uh, of Pokemon images, and this is a bunch of different fan-made ones in a couple of different styles. Um, and you can see there are literally thousands upon thousands of these. I don't think you're ever going to run out um, if you just keep flicking through these to find stuff. A um, couple of things you could do with this is, for example, download a bunch of them, then use a wallpaper which will automatically cycle through them, which will allow you to have sort of different Pokemon every hour or so, um, depending on what you're using. So we're just going to find one that we like. Uh, some of these are quite cool. Let's go for that. Is that like a ground on in the background? Is that a ground on? I always forget. No, Salah, Salah, um, Salamonts, who was one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, so here you've got the options to share it to Twitter or Facebook. You can also download it and also favorite it on the side here as well. And if you hit this top image, it will load it up and allow you to set it as your wallpaper. I like that it lets you install it through different wallpapers. So you can, for example, do it through Musi, and this will give you that nice little blur effect, which I always, I always go on about. But we're just going to set it through Nova wallpaper and hit set. And you get another pop-up advert. But again, we've got a nice sort of Pokemon, Pokemon background going on. Next up on this list, we've got Minimal Wallpaper Pokemon. And this is quite nice in that it's got some uh, slightly bigger designs. They tend to be less focused on one Pokemon. Um, I really like this one. It's a kind of My Neighbor Totoro with a Ghastly and Ash um, waiting in a bus stop, which is pretty cool. And again, you just go into this. You can either save or download. And you've also got these buttons at the bottom here. That is a terrifying Gyarados. Um, just to scroll through uh, the wallpapers, and again, you can like them if you want and save them um, within the app. Then the final wallpaper we're going to look at in this video is actually a skin for um, custom live wallpaper. So I'm just going to rotate, get rid of my dock, and go into my wallpapers here, and we're going to set it 
um, as you would any other live wallpaper. So you go into custom and the links for all of this is going to be in the description below. So we're going to go ahead into the settings here and load up the theme. And the theme for this is Pokédex. So you can see there's a couple of different ones, um, each with a different type of Pokéball. I'm going to go for just the sort of classic red and black um, sort of bog standard Pokéball. Now I am going to be doing a I'm going to be doing another video on custom live wallpaper because it really is one of the most powerful ways to theme your home screen from within a specific launcher. Um, but this is a three screen setup, so you just have three blank screens and as you can see you can scroll through. You've got a media player here, this will tell you what song um, is playing and sort of the playtime. Nice little battery um, monitor there as well. And you get the play controls in the Pokeball. You can scroll across, you get a nice sort of time widget, you've got a bit of weather as well and you've got all these links which are of course customizable and if we go once more you've got a nice little map showing you where you are which i think looks really really neat um, and again you've got a few more links here as well you have got this blue button at the bottom too which is a little bit janky because of the soft keys um, it works better on a phone with hard keys um, but that just gives you settings a search option in the play store but in all honesty i probably wouldn't use that i'd assign some sort of gesture and if you tap in the middle of this pokeball here you get your app drawer this is a real nice theme. Um, again, links to both um, custom live wallpaper and the theme will be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Guys, let me know in the comments below if there's any other wallpaper apps, Pokemon or otherwise, that I should be using. Go ahead and like this video if you've enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you haven't seen me before. That really does help. You can follow me on all my social media things, the links in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.